And now with our News Extra program, here is Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And we're going to uh, talk about all things North Platte NRD today. Dave Wolf is here along with Roy Lyles. And uh, we've got a couple of subjects to uh, discuss. First of all, the uh, tree conservation program. And uh, Dave, that, that program has become very successful, right? Yeah, we've planted uh, over 5 million trees in the 40 years, well, 41 years that we've been in existence. Uh, last year was a, a bit of a rough patch because of the weather. Uh, the drought really kind of hit the trees hard, but uh, hopefully uh, with the fall moisture that we got, the snows and the rains that, that um, has provided some moisture for the ground, uh, and so hopefully we can get some more trees planted this year. All right. Uh, now you have a little bit of a change in the program because it has been so successful in the past. Yeah, uh, one of the things we looked at uh, this year was uh, reducing the amount of bundles of trees that you can get or within the bundle. So instead of having to buy the 30 or 50 trees um, at one time, we've reduced it down to 10. Because uh, we have a lot of aging uh, tree lines out there that you, they don't need 50 trees, they might just need 20. Uh, so they can go in and, and replace those and it just provides a little more flexibility for the producer All right, let's give it over to Roy here because Roy's been very involved in this in the past <laughs> and uh, You've been you've been helping out with this. This is uh, this has been a really good program and, and and something you've been involved with for a long time, right? Right Kevin. I've been doing this. Well, this is my 26th year starting in October so been around for a long time and you know, it's kind of interesting that I'm here today because yesterday we had a gentleman from Sioux County in our office and he runs about 800 cows and calves them out and we designed a windbreak for him about 18 years ago and with all the winds we've had in the last week or 10 days, he came in to thank me and ordered some more replants because he built a large octagon shaped windbreak where he can put all of his cows in the calf inside that windbreak and he said, best investment he's ever made and calving has been much easier and he just wanted to thank us and continue planting trees so that's a good success story yeah and that's and that's the whole idea yeah. right it is I mean it just helps nobody including myself we don't like to stand out in the wind and get sand blasted and blown <laughs> so those poor calves don't like it either so let's do something to help those calves get up and running yeah yeah, well, I don't like it even in town, <laughs> much less out, out in the rural area, it's even worse. And uh, I know it as I was uh, coming back from uh, Boulder on uh, Sunday morning, and I got Cheyenne, and it was ridiculous. I mean, uh, have, have, have you seen such, I mean, uh, I, don't, I know this is common, but it does seem like there's been more in the last two weeks than normal, doesn't it? Oh, it, <laughs> it's crazy, and I... You know, and I live out in western Browner County, and I know if we get a heavy wet snow with all the tumbleweeds in the fences right now, my wife has got a lot of fence to read. <laughs> it's going to get crazy. So. Well, you've got a really good wife there, Roy. You've got a really nice gal there. So, all right, we'll talk water conservation here in a little bit right after this. <laughs> My God. You're lucky she's in plastic. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hear any of this. <laughs> she knows what's coming. Uh, it's like she's pushing me to get more trees uh, uh, planted. Is she? Well, it's just been so tough in this yeah. drought to keep stuff going. Yeah. 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 So you all excited about the show in a couple of weeks? Oh, yeah, we are. It'll be fun. All right, we are back on News Extra. Again, uh, Dave Wolf from the North Platte NRD and Roy Lyles are here. And uh, we've been talking about tree conservation. And if you need any help with that, by the way, you want to get some trees, make sure you just call the uh, North Platte NRD office at uh, 632-2749. They can hook you up and get you uh, a windbreak and uh, design it for you and help you out. Now, you guys also have uh, some conservation cost share programs, right, that are that are kind of uh, uh, something on, on your mind and should be on producers' minds, right? Right. We're in the process. I know in the past we've had just a two-week sign-up in the spring, and we've been reviewing with our operations committee about doing maybe a continuous sign-up. We'd like some 
feed and input from our landowners out mm -hmm. there, what they think would work for them. And we're thinking about prioritizing different programs. I know in 02, the big push in the drought was uh, pipeline stock tanks, windmills, that kind of stuff for livestock watering. The last couple of years with all the pivots going in, we did cost share with pipelines to cut down water erosion to help water be more efficient. So uh, it kind of comes and goes with the territory and the weather, what happens. And we have ways that we can do things. We can help with fencing, plan grazing systems, tree wind rakes, terracing, all kinds of conservation practices. And if we could hear from you, we'll be at the, your show in February. Mm -hmm. Stop by our booth. Right. Give us some input, what mm -hmm. you'd like to see. We'll take it to our board members and manager and see if we can customize our cost share programs to be more beneficial for everyone. Yeah. And even though uh, it looks like we're going to have a lot of weather, a lot of water coming down from the mm -hmm. reservoir, if it continues to rain and snow up there, mm -hmm. hopefully it will do that over the next few mm -hmm. months. It's got a good head start. Still, we've had a drought for about 18 months, and, and so there's, there's not a lot underneath the ground right now for, for guys to, to plant crops and do a lot of other things, right? Right. And, uh, you know, we do have cost share for that uh, to help conserve water. We can do sprinkler conversions with drought nozzles, and that's an excellent practice. It's a water saver and gets more water up to the crop more beneficial and that, that's something we need to look at maybe we should focus and put a little bit more money that way. but we just need to hear from the landowners out there come talk to us we'll visit with you, you may not like everything we say we may not like everything you say but we got to start someplace Communication is key, right? You bet. we got to talk and arm wrestle a little bit. All right. Okay, if they want to do that, then again, they just give you a call, and you'll go either go out there or they can come in, whatever whatever happens to be the best best solution, right? Sure. Yep. And the girls always have a pot of coffee on, so stop in, get a pot of coffee, and talk to one of us up at the office. We're always glad to see you. All right, you guys. Okay. Very good. Anything else, Dave? We need to get in here real quick. <clears throat> no. Uh, they, for more information on these programs, you can go, always go to our website. It's www.npnrd.org. Um, or just give us a call. All right. Very good. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks, Kevin.